Welcome to eSightConnect.com, bringing health education, particularly mental health education, to you, the public. Today I want to talk about a very simple, simple concept called biopsychosocial. So the first thing is bio, bio stands for biology. So biology is your physical health. So if you think about physical health, I think the common types of physical health are things like heart disease, emphysema, asthma, maybe reflux, chronic pain. So these are all physical health issues. I guess including sleep apnea is actually very important and chronic tiredness is actually also important. So if you suffer from these physical health issues, it will naturally have an impact on your mental health. And when your mental health is, is not very good, you're already in that sort of fight or flight mode, it will naturally have an impact on your social health. So it affects your relationship with your children, relationship with your partner, relationship with people you work with, your colleagues, and even the people that you look after, you serve in your new business or in your work, in your profession. And, and not just that, it actually can have an impact on your relationship with yourself as well. Now, when these things have an impact on our relationship with people around us and ourselves, it then can lead to poor mental health. And then when we have poor mental health, it can lead to poor physical health because when we are under stress, you know, think about the last time that you were super stressed, it will affect your sleep, you may have broken sleep, and, and not just that, I think as human beings, we tend to try and escape our minds, and our, our negative emotions, we, we don't cope with that very well, and so we tend to sort of comfort eat, and comfort drink alcohol, and comfort smoke, comfort drugs, comfort TV, technology, just to escape their negative emotions, and then these, I guess you can call it negative lifestyle choices, then can have an impact on our physical health and we may then feel more unwell which then affects our mental health, our social health, our mental health and our physical health. So you can get, you can get the, the general idea there that we, we get stuck in this sort of vicious cycle. So hopefully you now understand what we mean by biopsychosocial. So as a doctor, when a patient comes into me, I always think about, okay, how's this person's physical health? How's this person emotional health? And then sort of rate it out of 10. And how's this person relational health? And if they are sort of below seven out of 10 in any of those domains, my red flag sort of goes up and say, hey, do we need to address these things? So my tips for today is for you to be well, you need to focus on your physical health. And you want to sleep well, you want to eat well, you want to look after your body. Uh, you need to look after your mental health by learning to manage your stress better, improving your emotional literacy. So I'm hoping to do more of this through this channel. And number three is to look after your relationships. And it's very, very, very important. I know it's not a very easy topic. I think relationships is a very difficult skill to master, but nevertheless, I think we need to focus on it and we need to invest our time learning more and more and more about it. So I think it is so important that I think next video is probably on relationships. So thank you so much for tuning in and if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel. Also leave a comment good or bad and if you want me to address any particular topic or any questions that you may have please put it in the comment and I will read them uh, and until next time I'll see you then. Okay bye bye now.